been extremely busy. Uh, we've uh, taken on a lot of new projects. We sold buildings. We received approval to go ahead and uh, replace uh, the Severson Home Building. We've had an absolutely fantastic year from a quality standpoint. Great surveys. It's been phenomenal. I think the support that um, the congregation, the employees, my staff and everything has for moving ahead to not just sit still but uh, proceed and they recognize the need for the fact that um, yeah, we're not the same as we were 49 years ago and that we need to grow to advance. Grace is a true not-for-profit. It's mission-driven. We invest 100% of our earnings back into our programs, our employees. It's fun to sit back and actually observe the passion that our employees have for caring for somebody. It's, you know, it's something you can't teach. It's something that uh, we hope when we hire somebody that they have the passion of caring and it's critical to our quality. The employees, they're the heart and soul of our organization and they're the ones that truly do the magic every day. Our management team is um, absolutely phenomenal. We have a group of uh, seasoned professionals who know and understand the industry in depth and are committed to uh, bringing our mission and our vision to work every day, life every day. Great people. Grace Lutheran Foundation has an absolutely phenomenal board of directors. They are truly committed to uh, continuing the mission. They you know, are supportive in these new ventures in that aspect and I can't say enough about the time they volunteer uh, for our organization and how beneficial they are. Church membership is very interested in what we do and very supportive. They supported us uh, this last year in proceeding ahead with the new building and I'm very excited for us. It's great. It's going to breathe new life into our foundation. It's everything that we need for uh, the next 25 years. You, know, you have a state-of-the-art short-term rehab building. You're going to have the uh, new long-term care facility, a community center. We're going to be able to involve the community directly into the programming. It's going to be phenomenal. 50 years ago, you were content to go to an institution and follow the institution's rules. In today's world, you, know, you want the amenities that you have at home. You want to be able to determine what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and who you're going to do it with. The new building is going to have the things that are important to the baby boomers. Private rooms, private baths with showers, you know, both small and large spaces, uh, both indoor and outdoor. I can visit with friends and family in a very comfortable environment. It's going to obviously have some state-of-the-art uh, rehab equipment to uh, help me recover as fast as I can. The home-like environment is very critical. One of the neatest features is going to be the ability to uh, get up when you want to get up in the morning, to eat when you want to eat, select a menu. You're going to pick your own activities. What do I like to do? When do I want to do it? It's all customized, it's focused around your desires and instead of it's the institution and it's time to get up, it's truly personal center care. Thank you for uh, coming this evening. This is extremely important to us. Over the years, the, uh, the donations that we received from this event have enabled us to do things that we typically would not have been able to afford to do in the past. It's very critical that uh, we have your support and I truly appreciate it. And now, our MCs for the evening, Chris and Sarah.